In London today, the Prime Minister spent the better part of an hour meeting with the Queen, talked about transparency for Canadian-owned mines with industry executives, then spent four minutes speaking with reporters. And add to that, a two-year-old video suddenly surfaced, putting Harper in a very different light than he's been seen under lately. Terry Malefsky gives us all a peek tonight. Terry. Well, Peter, the highlight of Harper's day was behind closed doors. He went to the palace to congratulate the Queen on the 60th anniversary of her coronation. But no TV cameras were allowed in, so we only have a couple of still photos of that encounter, which comes at an anxious time for the royal family, with Prince Philip still in hospital. However, the Prime Minister did make news today by announcing a new policy to require Canadian resource companies to disclose all payments they make to governments. The idea being to shed some light on the sometimes murky dealings in countries where they don't want people to know how much, say, mining companies are paying in taxes or maybe in bribes. Canada will establish new mandatory reporting standards for payments made to foreign and domestic governments by Canadian extractive companies. But if transparency was the word when Harper met with mining executives, it was not when he met with reporters. Harper refused to say why he won't ask Nigel Wright to produce that $90,000 check that he wrote to Senator Mike Duffy. Could you not settle this by producing the check? Just ask Nigel Wright to disclose the check. Isn't that in your interest to settle these questions by doing that? Why not? Well, uh, obviously, as you know, Mr. Wright is uh, uh, speaking to the Ethics Commissioner and he will uh, be accountable for his actions to the commissioner. And beyond that, I have nothing more to say on the matter. But Harper's tight-lipped stance on that check is quite a contrast to the loose, relaxed Harper in a newly leaked video showing Harper with his wife and son goofing off in private at a rehearsal just before the last election. His Diefenbaker isn't bad. Thank you, Ed, for that kind introduction. He also took a stab at Joe Clark. It is a real pleasure. <laughs> and even his son couldn't stop Harper doing Brian Mulroney. Yeah. Read the speech, Dad. Read Why, your speech. I, uh, Read your speech. Neil and I give our warmest regards to all Canadians. Even the father of the Reform Party, Preston Manning, was not spared. Friends, we have a great team of conservative candidates. <laughs> now, it was probably not a coincidence that the video showing Harper as a warm and funny guy was leaked when he otherwise seems pretty embattled. And we know it was a conservative insider who leaked it because the media was shut out of that rehearsal. However, Harper may seem embattled again tomorrow when he comes here to Westminster to make a speech to the British Parliament. Anti-oil sands demonstrators are promising to give him an unfriendly welcome. Peter. Terry Molesky in London tonight. Thank you, Terry.